so we finally have the culmination of a months long auction process for Amlin, the biotech firm. Uh, it's sold for 5.3 billion to AstraZeneca and in the lead is Bristol Myers Squibb. And it also actually is a, a company in which Carl Icahn had taken a stake and was agitating for sale for ages. So finally, it all seems to be out on the table. Uh, Rob, uh, you've been looking at this. This mm -hmm. deal uh, at, at 5.3 billion for, for just the equity looks, looks pretty rich, you think? Yeah, the, well, the all in price is about 7 billion because they had to, um, Amelin had a, had a former deal with uh, Eli Lilly, right. and they, they, to get out of that, the total cost is about 1.7 okay, billion. Okay, so, so the it's, purchases are paying for the paying Yeah, the, the price okay. is about seven times uh, sales this year. That, right. That's that's hefty. That's Normally, biotech goes for like five times okay. sales, so, so it's, it's but, a big price. But, I mean, in the auction process, I, I recall three or four months ago, um, Bristol Myers Squibb had offered they offered about three and a half three billion, and a half billion. So, and so, so they've got a nice a nice bump on that okay. I mean that's typical in biotechs and also but the thing is there were a lot of companies going after this and yep. the reason is because diabetes is probably the best market in the world you know the average yep. American and indeed the average person worldwide is getting fatter and mm. when you get fat enough you get diabetes and right. so what's happened is they've got a, a drug which before you go on insulin you can take this drug. It, it's amusingly enough, it was developed from the gilla lizard, the spit of a gilla lizard. Excellent. And, um, Excellent. Mother Nature helping us. And what it does is it, it helps you kind of use sugar better, and also it, it actually makes you lose a tiny bit of weight. Okay. So this is a pre-insulin drug. Yeah, uh -huh, okay. basically. And, so, and, and, and is, is, it, is it tested? Is it out in the market? Yeah, it's, it's out in the market. Okay. They've got that one. They've got one that's daily, and they've got one that's coming out. We, uh, it's, it's out weekly now, right. and. Um, the problem is that there are a lot of other companies developing similar sort of drugs based, right. on, based on these same type of yeah. compounds. And again, that's a very high purchase price, but what Astra and Bristol Myers are essentially doing is they're saying, well, this market's going so fast, and will these other drugs come into the market? Who knows, but let's yeah. just pay up now and hopefully right. we'll do well. And they've, between them, they've, they've got, you've got Bristol Myers Squibb and, uh, and great marketing on, on mm -hmm. from AstraZeneca as well. So they, they both, is, is it a good connection overall? They are, because those two companies already collaborate on diabetes drugs. Right. And, and what they were looking, Astra in particular, needs drugs to sell. And so what you're doing is you're basically plugging in this drug, which could potentially, be, these drugs could be very, very big drugs into right. these salespeople. So it makes sense from that point. Okay. Well, excellent. Well, look, thanks for that, Rob. Uh, finally, we have uh, some nice drugs coming out using lizard spit. I'm sure everyone would look forward to that. Uh, but we'll keep an eye just to make sure that Carl Icahn likes this deal. And we'll be back tomorrow with more breaking views.